What is up, everybody? Hi, I'm late again, as per usual, uh, to the, uh, the, the theater. Uh, trailers and commercials have already started at this point, and I still got about 10 minutes until the uh, movie starts. So, I'm gonna go get my ticket, and uh, I'm gonna go into the movie. Hold on, I'll try to slow down so the camera doesn't shake as much. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see Rocket Man. Uh, that Rocket Man. Hold on, I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, that Rocket Man. Uh, the fantasy biographic movie-ish thing about uh, Elton John, uh, one of the best uh, singers in the uh, uh, 70s or 80s I, I, and 90s. I can't remember the exact specific de decade at this point, but I'm very excited for the movie and we're gonna see it right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Hey everybody, I'm a Rocket Man. What's up? I just came out of Rocket Man, a movie about this guy, Elton John. Elton Hercules John, apparently. And, uh, wow. That was a, a fun movie. Uh, there were times that I kind of felt it was like uh, the Bohemian Rhapsody of this year. And uh, if you know anything about me, you know that Bohemian Rhapsody was my favorite movie of last year. So th take that into consideration. This was not my favorite movie of this year, un un unfortunately. But it was a very good very fun, very well executed movie. I mean, what can I say about this guy? That Taron Edgerton strikes again. It was just that guy is just on fire whenever he's on screen. Whether it's the Kingsman movies, uh, Eddie the Eagle, uh, and even that movie Sing. It was just this guy can sing and he can act. He really is uh, learning in, in in the footsteps of. Uh, one of his major co-stars from uh, from uh, Eddie the Eagle, Hugh Jackman. He really is following in his footsteps, and it's just a joy to watch. He played Elton John like only Elton John could be Elton John. That was just amazing. The other co-stars, Bryce Dallas Howard was in this movie, and I didn't even recognize it was her because she's just so unrecognizable until the credits show up. Jamie Bell was actually very good. Uh, Richard Madden, wow. Uh, he actually played a character that appeared in Bohemian Rhapsody and this is no spoiler because if you know uh, the history of Elton John and the history of Queen you know exactly who that character was or rather a real life person but this movie was just great it was basically a fantasy musical about El Elton John I mean it was kind of a, a fateful uh, retelling of his life story with some added uh, fantastical scenes to make uh, the story uh, a little bit better, uh, in my opinion. It was just uh, crazy, it was fun and enjoyable. Uh, um, considering that uh, one of the main characters from uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody showed up, it would have been nice to see uh, Rami Malek uh, have a cameo as Freddie Mercury, even though that's a completely different studio. Uh, but yeah, it was regardless, it was still a lot of fun. I highly recommend you watch it. This movie is probably gonna be nominated for an Oscar, I think. Uh, one uh, little bit of a disclaimer uh, that I feel like I have to mention. Uh, if you're actually planning to watch uh, this movie, this is no spoiler, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, there's a scene, a certain scene in the movie that um, Elton goes out for a really big show on stage uh, somewhere and uh, he kind of uh, goes through, through uh, several different costumes uh, at the time. And the whole camera just spins around Elton and his piano and it's kind of vertigo inducing if you get my meaning. Uh, yeah, it's kind of... Uh, it caused me to get a little, a little bit lightheaded so I recommend... Uh, be careful uh, when you're watching this, uh, particularly that scene. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, all the other aspects of Elton John were touched on perfectly, without too many trippy scenes. I mean, the, the little detail that I've actually noticed that they actually gave him uh, different glasses in literally every single scene. It was amazing. Every scene, he just had a different set of glasses and he didn't even notice because, well, I did because I wear glasses, obviously, so I kind of notice these things, but literally every scene Elton had a different uh, set of glasses, because, for those of you who don't know, Elton John has literally the biggest collection of glasses in the world, so 
take that into consideration. Anyway, I'm late for work, so I kind of have to really go, but I hope you guys enjoy Rocket Man, and I'll see you guys in my next movie, whatever that may be. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.